Hello everybody, today we are at Dover Street Market and we're having a look at the Rasviet Market. And I have the designers here as well. It's a pretty unique concept situation that we have here and we will see this for the next six weeks. And we see older seasons and a lot of pieces from the brand Rasviet, uh, iconic pieces. And I think it's super interesting to learn a bit more about the pieces and their background and why they were selected for this yeah, little trunk show of some sort. We're here in the catacombs of Dover Street Market. It's a amazing architecture. It's super cool. It looks very interesting and we were kind of missing this a bit in Paris. I have the designers here and I'm super happy to have again the chance to speak to them. Yeah, why why you selected this and why do you even do a market, for example? I think the, the idea behind that was uh, just finally have uh, our own spot and see how the what's the people reactions is going to be. So we have uh, selected the archive pieces for like a past five collections to show and then um, yeah just to to have our our spot in Paris and see how what's going to be is it the first physical space you have yes like it's uh, for the first time we have it uh, we used to have we, we did already with uh, 35 37 we did the uh, Slava Magutin collaboration so it was like for maybe three or a couple days we had some space mm -hmm. and we've been selling, but these so. were more like ephemeral mm -hmm. events you know more like more events yeah. or like release and like we did the Julian Klinsevich collaboration uh, with the gallery bit in Paris as well yeah. so we already occupied some physical space yeah. but mm -hmm. not on under our own, mm -hmm. own name, name yeah say. it's yeah, more yeah. like a collaborations and does Paris have a certain importance for you yeah of course since uh, we've been working with uh, Comme des Garçons and Doris Street Market so we've been here since day one I will say so it's always been a part of uh, Rasvet uh, Paris as a city and as a I don't know culture of skateboarding here and really important city for us I will say I see already a lot of skateboards here um, <coughs> do I officially call it skateboard or does it have a different name if it's just the Yes, board. It's a board. It's okay. A board, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we can start here because I see they all look insane. And I see there's also the logo of inspiration, the image yeah. that <laughs> I have here that I learned in, in, the, in our last talk. Yeah. Um, they all look pretty much insane. Pretty what do you even select, for example, as an image for your board? Well, how important is that? I mean, he, uh, it is important. And it's different boards. So we have team boards. We have, for example, Val's uh, Pro Board. That's uh, his last name here. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a signature boards that the writer have mm -hmm. in uh, our team. So it's a couple of uh, pro uh, that we have in the brand. So this specific one, we worked with uh, Dian Ling, mm -hmm. uh, the artist from China. And she's uh, drawing this uh, futuristic kind of style images. And Val took that, where is a dog hugging and he's kind of mm -hmm. like protecting her. So. This one was really good, and especially Val has a dog called yeah. Sonny. So it's like Cute. very meaningful. All the pro mm -hmm. boards is very meaningful always. Very personal. Or sometimes we're doing like a kind of mm -hmm. crazy, we're trying to do something crazy for the board. So it's like the whole glitter board, board and it's all oh, shiny. Okay. I, I yeah. love this one. Sorry to interrupt, but this yeah. is giving like medieval dystopian slightly yeah. scary. But, you know, it's also it, it reminds me of this Hieronymus uh, Bosch images and I don't know. It's it's just yeah. This this awesome. the, this picture uh, took. I think it's uh, seventy something, like uh, mm -hmm. what, one thousand seventy something. Mm -hmm. You you got it 17. from the encyclopedia. This one. Yeah, right? encyclopedia. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's basically the artist was <coughs> trying to imagine uh, the life on the moon. On the moon. Yeah, that's oh, wow. how okay. exactly he I was saying. I thought it was hell. No, was yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, that that's exactly okay. yeah. So Razvet, I mean, maybe we mentioned that before uh, Before when you visited us during the last showroom, but Razvet meaning sunrise. Mm -hmm. We often play on the sun, and for once we decided to play with the moon as oh, well. Okay. Because, yeah, that's, that's the, <laughs> that's the whole mean, brand. Anyway, they're not existing without no, the and other, I think yeah. there are not many images on imagination of how life is on the moon. It's also pretty interesting. Yeah. I never, I didn't know we had historical images about this. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, this sounds interesting. Yeah. Just to give a little context, when Tolia mentioned pro boards and stuff, so basically we're a board company. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means in the skateboarding world that like we support a skate team in their in their career. Mm -hmm. So we support 12 different riders and we have seven pros, yeah. I would say. So these pros on certain collection, they have their own signature boards such as like 
uh, Cambrian Sedlik, for example, that has a board here. So we have like seven people in total oh, that have their okay. own signature board. And then you have the team boards who are like uh, mm -hmm. uh, graphics, brand, brand graphics, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so it's yeah. all pretty much personal then, because everybody chooses. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Imagery yeah. on their skateboards. I mean, just like I mentioned before as well, like one of the first step before designing any collection is that I'm in charge of gathering all the inspirations from the team riders. That way, we make sure that like our collection is gonna fit uh, what the youth mm -hmm. nowadays and it's mm. just not just. Tolia behind his computer or drawing yeah. stuff and being in a cave somewhere, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're, we're really relying on on everyone's inspiration, and it's always been quite clear that Razvet is first and foremost a collective, more than only a designer mm -hmm. brand, even yeah. if like it's Tolia's brand, but it's it's a collective and also a platform to support uh, external artists, so they can bring a different vision mm. and, and we give them a platform to express their art, such as like with Diane or like with Kyler Garrison, who designed this board, like a, a small capsule a couple of seasons ago. Julian again. Yeah, Julian Klesevich. So every collection we bring, we make sure to bring someone external to the brand that is gonna bring a different perspective on the, on the graphic yeah. design yeah. side of things, like you know? All the graphics, even team graphics, or sometimes the the pro boards, we're trying to make it meaningful or like just like a cool in terms of like a technology kind of of the graphic or something like that. Is it also a bit a collector's item when you uh, for people that they are of like I buy a Rasviet board mm -hmm. like just to collect? I mean, we know I mean, nowadays we see it also as like art pieces, you know. And the way I see it right now. I love the blue one with the stars, for example. Yeah. I can imagine having like three somewhere, like an art piece. So mm -hmm. it's really interesting how in skate culture, the board is like so iconized that it's already like a bit like an art piece. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. for us, it's first of all, the graphic not making so much sense when you're skating yeah. it because it's going away. But of course, when we're doing our boards, we want them to be like an art piece. And of course, we imagine in it uh, on the wall in somebody's yeah, yeah. house. And it's but also even, important. Yeah. Yeah. But even if the graphic fades away when you skate, you're yeah. always happy when you set up the, your new yeah. board and that you're happy with the graphic. Yeah. It's just just like when you first started skating when you were like 10 or 12 and, and you're happy with your new board. It's yeah. like, I don't know, some people might have the same feeling some people not skating might have even the same feeling with a new bike or something, you know, yeah, like yeah. for us it's the same pretty yeah, much, yeah. you know. True. That's nice. No, I just I just figured that skate in skate culture is one of the few sports where you can reflect your personality in your sportswear, like your skateboard. Because if I'm a runner or bicycle, I'm pretty much limited with my clothes and the bike is usually just functional. But you have, like even your style is but more I'm fashion sure, but i'm sure it's also something that that's a vision we have because we are not uh, yeah. cyclists you know but like let's say someone that's like super into bike is going to probably pay attention to his style as well yeah. and his kit and mm -hmm. and the way or like just the way even if we talk about cycling or tour de france or something they all have their style i yeah. guess you know like some are really good yeah. going up and you know like so i don't know maybe yeah. it's more like linked to per no, performance so, so, yeah. but like still i'm sure they're like they have a, in some dimension, they're, they're expressing yeah, themselves I mean, as well, you know. There are lots of new brands as well in cycling. And I mean, everyone, yeah, but I think in skateboarding, <coughs> you really can, like, you, you mean, what you mean is just, like, open and be yourself. And, like, in terms of clothing. I think you also have yeah. more freedom with the yeah. selection of your clothes because yeah, you don't, don't have, have technical wear. Yeah, Usually yeah, yeah. it's more yeah. like clothes, right? Mm -hmm. So you can reflect that a bit more in design and stuff. Yeah. You, and you can also buy these boards just on yes, your Yes, yeah, yeah. we have a big stock and then oh, okay. the here it's uh, not all of the graphics that we have. So yeah, people actually can choose uh, much more mm -hmm. from us so the, the workers can, can show there's more graphics and cool. stuff. They're actually all now that I look at them in detail, very mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, there's like some yes, volumized. Can you see it? It's, this is 3D. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yes. We call it puffing. Sure. Where do you produce your boards? Uh, it's a uh, uh, San Diego based uh, mm -hmm. the company. Uh, okay. Yeah, it, it's in the US, but they, they produce it in Mexico. They have oh, their okay. factory in Mexico, but they're from San Diego. It's called PS Sticks. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Okay. And they're helping us to make it like next level. Mm. <laughs> no, they look very um, yeah. 
almost chic, I would say. Even <laughs> Thank, then. You. Thank you. So, okay, you have a little DJ set here. Little DJ for set. For the good moments. It's like a, like a, yeah, that's like an old counter that I really liked. We found it, uh, especially to give like a old skate shop kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. The know? buttons. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because in our Discord server, people currently are speaking a lot about buttons. The uh -huh. buttons are coming back. Okay. And I was just like, are they really coming back? And now, yeah, yeah, apparently there is something. Yeah, yeah. Is it also a bit the like, um, yeah, have you always been doing buttons as well? Yeah, we've been, we've been doing like pins for, for, mm. for quite some time. And I, I personally like it myself. I'm always yeah. wearing like all my jackets. I'm always like yeah. preparing them and just leaving my pins there. And I have my oh. pin collection as well. Yeah, you I, know, I like so. it a lot too. Wait, you don't have a puzzle from this thing? Yeah, we have a puzzle. Oh my God. Yeah. From my favorite. Oh my God, this is insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking puzzle of yeah. living on the moon. I think it's like a 50 pieces puzzle. Oh, that's not so yeah. hard. I can't oh, no, uh, 500, 500, yes. Yeah, okay, sorry, I was like 50, 50 is like yeah. Yeah. huge. <laughs> 500, good. yeah. This is really, really cool. Yeah. We so have you like also a dog bowl as well. Yeah. Keep you dancing on the bright side. Yeah, it's there. okay. The DJ has um, taken up the space. Yeah. But it's okay. We can. Okay. We have your iconic scarves, I would say. Yeah. We're producing yellow, scarves yeah. as well every winter season. And is this a special Paris edition or is this from yes. a certain season? No, this is. Uh, we took uh, all our stock from different collections of the logo. So, and then we produce I Love Paris, and then there is a Dover Street Market logo on the back. And oh. then, uh, uh, yeah. That's cute. With, uh, with like? Rasvet Market on the back as well. Okay, so sorry. it's. Like I don't want to destroy it. It's so perfectly <laughs> folded, I'm scared to touch it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then also the part of uh, this market, we want to really engage with our customers mm -hmm. and everyone and maybe with you guys if you yes, would like so here we have our uh mm, how say guest like book? a guest book yeah. yeah where anyone can express whatever they think they want to write to the brand mm. maybe a poem maybe they like to draw whatever they want literally it's uh, just a blank book that people can do whatever they want with it and then we're gonna have a little surprise afterwards for everyone. Oh, okay. yeah. cool. Are you in close touch with your customers usually as well? We're yeah. trying to be, yeah. We're trying to communicate, which be yeah, I mean, as close as right. possible. For sure. Yeah. I mean, listen to so far it mostly means answering DMs, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. because like which this is, is our first. something. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And, and gathering with our community when we do events like the, the Reset Blue premiere at the cinema, like, we're trying to be close to people mm. supporting us because it's just being polite to us, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and grateful. Like, we're always grateful of any kind of support we receive. So, like, it's never been our mindset to ignore people supporting mm -hmm. us, obviously, you know, so. It yeah. also fits with the idea of the collective that you have. No, no, exactly. Yeah. That's why this yeah, thing, yeah. like, we were really stoked on that idea of, like, trying to have everyone visiting us being a part of the brand mm. for real you know more than buying clothes i guess yeah. you know and we've also been uh, doing in the past the for example the graphic uh challenge and then when the everyone can send us their art and mm. tag oh, us yeah. and stuff like that yeah. and then we at the end we did the selected three people selected three people yeah and then we produce one uh, t-shirt with the no uh few pieces with the winner Mm -hmm. And then also after that, we found a really cool artist who did also participate, but didn't won in the mm -hmm. competition. But we did the kind of collection with him as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you're kind of supporting also emerging artists and stuff, yeah. and stuff like this. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it's really like uh, in the DNA of Rasvet, like the, the artists mm. that we can, I don't know, just put the light on and we mm. like, we, we're doing it. Definitely fits with your... DNA, I would say, mm -hmm. which is very cool. Yeah. And if we look at the clothes. Uh, as Toya was mentioning that, yeah, we're, we're a platform supporting uh, di different artists as well. And so during the Reset Market, uh, we're going to have something special with a friend of us that is painting, another one that is uh, tattooing. tattooing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And someone that is um, making bags. Bags. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, ah, so you do collaborate with artists that are not directly 
working for you, but it's yeah. just like it's a collaboration and yeah, exactly. they come yeah, here. It's basically like this space also we want to, you know, to give it uh, life to this mm -hmm. space. So we are through the all the months and a half that we're going to exist. We want to make the activities, what? make uh, like people gatherings and stuff like that. So and for that we did uh, we prepared some special special mm -hmm. things that in performance we're going to we're gonna do here and especially that's all gonna be like uh, Paris based artists mm -hmm. so that's to support the local community right. supporting really friends that friends. are making amazing things mm -hmm. and and try to come up with something interesting from yeah. both parts you know and and just creating something together it's also what's exciting us you know yeah. and just not like yeah yeah once again just not only selling stuff you know and yeah it's, it's and so interesting that you always say this because it really uh um ensures even more like the idea that you have that you want to have uh, this collective where everybody kind of benefits from each other it's not mm -hmm. only you it's not like a to b it's really like yeah. everybody is mm -hmm. the same and you want to give you want this also to be more than a shop so this yeah. well, and to me it's it's i don't know if it's already the energy it really doesn't give the vibe of a classic shop also because everything has kind of a story mm -hmm. of course every brand has some sort of story but like you it's really not your aim to just like sell pieces of course nice nice mm -hmm. to do so but like yeah you really want to it has even some like cultural approach i would say what you're also trying like in terms of yeah. arts and and, and well, support I, and stuff uh, yeah i mean I, I think it's also who we are as persons as well you know and like that's something that we learn through life and maybe also through skateboarding that like even if you're alone on, on on your skateboard that's something you do with your friends and like it's really important to support each other and to uplift each other mm -hmm. and like that's the way we did it forever i mean personal like, on yeah. personal level yeah. you know like that's something both Tolia and i always did with our friends and trying to be part of that crew and be tied together and uplift each other yeah. together you know so like that's Na kind of natural that we're mm -hmm. doing this with Razvet as well, I think, you know? Cool. Tolia so yeah. is probably the most generous person I've ever met. Like, yeah. and, and like, I won't be the only one saying that to, to <laughs> you if you would ask people. So yeah. like, yeah, it's totally natural to me that Razvet is a reflection of his personality mm. because that's his brain in the end, you know? Yeah. So like... I think it's a beautiful image when you say you're alone on your skateboard, but it's a crew that you have. Yeah, like, yeah, you're still sure. kind of never alone, so... You're just one seat, but you're always surrounded by many. Yeah, exactly. And you this is something you always push yeah. for. The community of skateboarding is really, really like um, supportive. So, for example, if I just gonna go anywhere in the world, having my board, I will find the the people in like two hours with who I gonna mm. like, you know, you hanging out for like uh, next weeks and stuff mm. like that and then uh, we will understand each other perfectly and stuff like that so i think it's a really really strong community and i'm really proud of that mm -hmm. you know that we are in this uh, culture and that uh, yeah it's just like super open-minded people and supportive that's super nice for the most part <laughs> <laughs> so just on camera yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know i know it's always like that okay <coughs> so now we're coming to the close um, I see you divided by category here, uh, jean jackets, denim jackets, uh, velvety jackets. Mm -hmm. um, based on what did you make the selection of your last five seasons? Did you have, or is it just like any pieces you personally liked or? So does it first of all, I would like to add that like through all this months and a half, we're gonna change the selection ah, okay. as well. Ah, okay. So, for now, it's uh, it's just a start that you see here, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, we try to represent uh, every like past five collections that we did, and I will say choose the best categories from it to just like uh, have a full range mm -hmm. to people. But then after that, we're gonna change the selection. Mm. We're gonna bring something new. It's more of a, like a global mix than yeah. just like selecting. Each, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah, each, yeah, yeah of uh, course, it's an archive yeah. uh, mar market. So, like, it's not about like selecting one piece, it's more like creating the, the mix that would drive people through the brand history and spirit, I would say, you know. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's more, I, I that's the way I see yeah, it, yeah, at yeah, least, yeah. you know, like, just like creating it as a whole and like then 
they can feel the experience mm -hmm. pretty much, you know. So just it's more like a foot, a uh, couple feet, <coughs> and like uh, shorts, long shirt, and like joggers and like sport pants, everything like in mix to show the full kind of range right. that we've been producing. So it's pretty much yeah. close to building a collection, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> it's just, yeah, yeah, just a little bit of everything and, and offer what would be a, yeah, a complete yeah. offer, you yeah. know, like uh, to, for, for us, you know? Yeah, and then of course, like collaboration with the uh, artists, like a Carl Garrison, Julian as well, when we have a cool patterns, then some like uh, team graphics as well that we've been drawing with our graphic <coughs> designer and our friend on the wall. So you can see oh, it wow. on the on the skateboards as well. <coughs> so it's like pretty, mm -hmm. pretty it's cool mix. So and it's, it's also just pretty unique pieces. Like yeah, this you cool. said was uh, was designed with a um, Artist? Julian. Yeah, Julian, Julian Klinsevitz. And then it's a screenshot of his high eight film. And then the whole story behind the, the oh. collaboration that we did, we did like a summer, missing summer with his friends back in the <coughs> You printed the screenshot. Yeah, on the yeah, yeah, it's like a screen, like a high resolution screenshot yeah. of a, like a summer film. Yeah, I know how I always ask like what is this and then there's a super crazy story behind <laughs> it like this image like yeah it's just people on the moon uh, from the 17th century and <laughs> this is actually just a screenshot I, you know mm. so it's, it's pretty interesting yeah. how you work with like art yeah i mean we we're always trying to do like uh, that's uh, while uh, walking in barcelona i found this grandma who was like selling her drawings and stuff so it was like uh, like an angel guard that having mm -hmm. light on the board, you can see like the full graphic. It's mm -hmm. putting the light on the house. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, we just insert the, the logo that will mean that like Rasvet putting light on mm -hmm. your house. And then That's patterns, cool. this pattern that we did, uh, this like a uh, picture we did with uh, AI. Oh, okay. And that's created just by giving like a forest uh, mm -hmm. spider web <laughs> and yes. uh, uh, like a sunrise. That's what that's created. Yeah, the topic of sunrise is always somewhere included a bit. Yeah, a bit of sometimes. course. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, cool. And here you say, Rasviat, the new light. Yeah, the new light. Another sun uh, <laughs> uh, metaphor. Yeah. Cool. Here we have a kind of uh, the logo t-shirts mm -hmm. in a different Have they colors. changed like the logo t-shirts? I mean, within the years, your classic t-shirts? Mm, classic t-shirts, no. We just mm. keep the same mm. size and just different colorways. But we're trying to play it with it more and more now yeah. and give like a texture, more. Texture, yeah. yeah. Depending on texture, colors are always different. It's never mm. twice besides black and white obviously mm. but like uh, oh, the colors are always uh, different from season to season and what's also cool with this space right now is that like on the main collection we decided to give a break to the OG logo so there's no OG logo on our main collection right now mm -hmm. so pretty much at the moment this archive uh, OG logos are the going to be ah. the only one available as well. Why do, why do you not do it anymore? Just to let it breathe. Oh, so okay. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, cool. it's nice not to overfeed oh, okay. like you know like uh, just overdo stuff it that it's more like <coughs> yeah, yeah. and like uh, making it as a graphic more mm -hmm. than the just classic oh that's classic interesting logo. so yeah. the classic classic logo yeah. as you know it is more like here right now or yeah. like at retailers exactly. but uh, cool no i think it's a beautiful summary actually and i th think again after our last talk i already said it's a this idea of a collective is pretty unique for any brand and i think there are not many sports brand and i wouldn't con consider you a sports brand yeah. at all of course it's a fashion brand at the end um but that you create something like this a little market an archive with your pieces you create puzzles and it's it's not merchandising you know it's mm -hmm. really pieces that bring everything together your whole story your collective your mm -hmm. your writers so i think that's honestly super unique and beautiful i'm very happy we have this in paris thank now you. as well thank you so everybody that uh, has time you are here until uh, we're here until 10th of September. 10th of September. Yeah. yeah and then, uh, yeah, you can just follow the news on our Instagram. Yeah. And then we're going to give the dates mm -hmm. uh, for the next uh, gatherings. Yes. Here, okay, yeah. That's cool. 
No, that's amazing. Thank you so much uh, for Our having pleasure. me and yeah. uh, showing me around. Super interesting. Thank you, guys. I feel always like uh, Rasfiat has always like hidden gems. <laughs> so you're always like, oh, okay, it's skateboarding, but it's at the end, it's just there's always a story behind it that is very interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's so cool. Thank you. And Thank uh, you. someone's busy. I don't yeah. want to interrupt. <laughs> no, it's I'm okay. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just going to help our staff it, to prepare the, the, yeah. the stock. So I need to... It's all good. It's okay. <laughs> business, <laughs> guy. Business, business is rolling yeah. in. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know. All good. Okay, thank you. And Thank you. see you soon.